I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the cucumber tree. Cucumber tree, Magnolia acuminata, is a stately tree of the Magnoliaceae family. This tree is known primarily for its tropical looking foliage and unique seed cones. It is also known as cucumber magnolia. Cucumber tree is in the Magnolia genus, which numbers about 80 to 85 species that are scattered throughout the southern and eastern Asia, Mexico to Venezuela, and the eastern United States. There are eight species of magnolia that are native to the United States, but only two are important timber trees. Cucumber tree grows fairly rapidly and typically lives about 80 to 120 years. Trees typically grow 80 to 90 feet tall and about 3 to 4 feet in diameter. It usually has a pyramid shape when young, but develops a clear, straight trunk with a rounded crown at maturity. Cucumber tree is widely distributed, but never really abundant, from southern Ontario to southern Missouri and southeastern Oklahoma and to northwest Florida. It is found primarily in eastern Kentucky. The tree grows best in rich, well-drained soils of bottomlands and on north and east facing slopes. It prefers full sun but will tolerate partial shade, and it is classified as intermediate in shade tolerance. If using this tree in a landscape, it needs a large open space with well-drained, moist soils. The leaves are deciduous and alternately arranged on the twig, as you can see in the photo. The leaf form is simple, and the leaves are elliptical to ovate in shape and typically 6 to 10 inches long. The leaves have pinnate venation, entire margins, and an acuminate tip, which means it's shaped like an acute angle with a long attenuated point. They are dark green above and pale to whitened below. Fall leaf color is yellow, but not particularly showy. Cucumber tree is monoecious, which means a tree has both male and female flowers. The flowers are greenish yellow and sort of resemble tulips. They are two to three inches long and appear at the tips of the twigs. The flowers are fragrant and bloom from April to June and often are hidden by the foliage. They are not nearly as showy as southern magnolia or yellow poplar flowers. The flowers are pollinated by insects, particularly sap beetles. The fruit is an aggregate or compact cluster of simple fruits that resemble a small green cucumber when unripened. The fruit ripens in late August to September. When ripened, the rounded red knobby follicles open to expose reddish-orange seeds that hang on slender threads before falling to the ground. Trees begin seed production at about 30 years of age, with optimal production around 50 years. Good seed crops occur every four to five years. Each fruit typically produces between 10 to 60 seeds, and seeds are disseminated by birds, wind, water, and gravity soon after ripening. The bark is light gray-brown and flaky and relatively soft. It can be dented with your thumbnail. The wood has very wide sapwood that is creamy white to grayish in color. The heartwood is comparatively narrow and the color ranges from medium to dark brown, sometimes with green, purple, or even black streaks. The wood is rated as non-durable to perishable regarding decay resistance. Cucumber tree wood can be difficult to distinguish from other magnolias. Additionally, magnolia species wood can be difficult to tell apart from yellow poplar, Liriodendron tulipifera wood, and typically microscopic examination is necessary to distinguish the two genera. Wildlife use of cucumber tree is overall relatively low. However, the seeds are eaten by several species of birds, such as towhees and other ground-feeding birds. Small mammals and rodents also eat the seeds. Grackles and blackbirds eat the young fruit, and deer browse the twigs, leaves, and buds. Cucumber tree is a valuable forest and shade tree. The wood resembles yellow poplar, except it's heavier and harder, and it's commonly used for lumber and often sold as yellow poplar. The wood is used for many of the same products as yellow poplar, which includes furniture, Venetian blinds, siding, interior trim, crates, and specialty carved and turned items. As a landscape tree, it's desirable for large sites due to its symmetrical form and spreading branches, as well as its large tropical leaves and interesting fruits. The national champion cucumber tree as of 2021 is in Stark, Ohio, and it's 309 inches in circumference, 91 feet tall, with a 35-foot crown spread. 
The Kentucky Champion Cucumber Tree as of 2021 is in Lexington at the Lexington Cemetery. It's 172 inches in circumference, 90 feet tall with a 71 foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about Champion Trees, check out American Forest Champion Trees or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about cucumber tree. The trunk can grow to be five feet thick and the wood has been used along with yellow poplar as the poor man's walnut. Early settlers flavored whiskey with the bitter immature fruit. Magnolias were among the first flowering plants to appear on earth and the range once included many parts of Europe, Canada, Siberia, and Greenland. The common name of cucumber tree comes from the fruit resembling cucumbers. The name Magnolia is in honor of 18th century French botanist Pierre Magnol, who established the renowned Montpelier Botanical Garden. The species name Acuminata refers to the pointed leaf tips. I'm glad you joined me today to learn about the cucumber tree and get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, local park, or neighborhood and enjoy this majestic magnolia.